All right, I'm back again. I'm trying this a second time. I was turning the uh, fan down on the heater and bumped it. Uh, it's early on a Monday morning, and obviously I didn't hit the lottery because I'm on my way to work. So, here we go. Uh, plenty of things I could talk about. I don't want to politicize because um, there's people trying to politicize it, and I don't want to. But there are two things I am going to briefly hit on and they're kind of, uh, technically three but two are kind of related so uh, I'm going to combine them into one the first thing is the Julian Assange extradition as you know uh, they did decide to extradite Julian Assange the UK court did uh, afterwards though it came out the, last, the day of his last hearing he had had a stroke that should tell you something about his overall health. Um, if, there's any, if there was ever a reason for him not to be extradited, that's just one extra one. I still firmly believe if there was such a thing as justice, uh, all charges against him would be dropped. But then again, if you uh, are looking at any way in that uh, Jose and Maxwell trial, the flat, flat logs were highly uh, redacted to protect the elite who used his services. There is no justice in the system. <laughs> it's just, a, with Assange, it's a, it's a political hit. That's all it is. Now for the second thing, and this is a part A and part B. Uh, the Supreme Court heard, I guess, a preliminary hearing on the Texas abortion law in a 5-4 decision decided not to uh, block it or what have you. And there was multiple, there was like three or four different parts to the decision. Uh, one of which was an 8-1 to one decision to throw out the Biden administration's lawsuit. I have not looked at it in depth. I will have a link below. But basically, from what I gathered, they did not have, um, they felt that they didn't necessarily have jurisdiction because they've never heard a trial of this nature before, uh, or had a case on a law of this nature before, so they sent it back to district court, but they gave uh, before it was, anyone in the country could sue a, an abortion provider. And they couldn't do anything to sue any government uh, state official. The providers couldn't. And they came back and said, you can. They did give them that option, which is a win, but by the same token, the law was still intact. And like I said, it was sent back to district court. From what I understand, Gorsuch, or whatever his name is, uh, said it just because we don't, we never heard something like this. We, and I'm gleaning, that's where I gleaned that he was saying we don't have the jurisdiction to really hear it at this point, which court review procedures, what have you, that I believe goes back to maybe trying to argue Marbury uh, Marbury versus Madison. I probably mispronounced that, but it's early. But yeah, that's probably what I'm assuming he went off of. Like I said, I have not really delved into it that deep. But Justice Sotomayor also came out and said, this could come back and be used to attack other uh, constitutionally protected rights. And sure enough, everyone's least or most favorite governor who almost got removed from office in 2021, Gavin Newsom, is working on building a law that will allow pe uh, people to sue the gun manufacturers. One, I'm just going to point out there are federal laws in place to kind of protect them. So, I don't know how well he thinks he's going to get away with literally circumventing a federal law. But, and, let's see, 
there's one other thing to keep in mind, and that is there's a difference between abortion rights and fire, uh, Second Amendment rights. Abortion rights were give, basically granted under uh, Roe versus Wade, so basically it was a court decision. The right to keep and bear arms is under the Second Amendment, and there, uh, which is an amendment, basically means it was added to the Constitution. If he's making a law that will interfere with that, it's going to be struck down. Now, there's one other thing I'm wondering is. You know, I know Gavin Newsom thinks he's being smart. I don't think he's as smart as Supreme Court justices. And I think they have something up their sleeve. Because I don't remember what how they described this type of law when they said in their... Uh, Justice uh, Gorsuch described it in his decision, but as I stated before, he basically said we don't have any groundwork to really hear a case on a law of this nature. If Gavin Newsom were to push this, it would most certainly go to the Supreme Court. And if he were to push it, then all of a sudden the groundwork could possibly be laid where they could hear something of this nature. And then they could really lay a smack down. Like, I don't necessarily think they want to overturn Roe versus Wade, but by the same token, we've become so politicized that we kind of demand it or there's a large portion are demanding it and are quite loud and vocal on the other hand there's a rather sizable and vocal um, group that is opposed to it if they could get something like a second amendment related case to where they could throw out this type of law, then they could, in theory, that decision could be applied to the abortion law, and then it'd be like, oh, well, uh, sorry, we didn't do it. We just, uh, yeah, whatever. It would be a backdoor way for them to do that, and it would be a backdoor way to um, deal a rather sizable blow to gun control advocates that's what I'm what's going through my mind is if this is not some sort of plan by the Supreme Court to do something like this it would be interesting to see if I'm right and of course it will take a couple of years probably for Newsom to do his thing and it to work its way through the courts I know they have kind of put things uh, on hold in Second Amendment related cases in the Ninth Circuit due to um, the pending New York um, right to carry lawsuit that's going on. So yeah, it'll be very, very interesting to see what kind of <laughs> happens with this if he is actually dumb enough to take the bait, as I'll put it. I'll on that note, I'm going to try and get off here. Let me know what you think. Like I said, I'll try to throw a link down below. Uh, do you think it's right to continue to pursue Assange? And do you think that maybe the Supreme Court is trying to bait Gavin or bait certain groups into following suit with Texas and so they can try to have their cake and eat it too, for lack of a better way to put it. Anyway, later.